Hey everybody, Mike Evans from 4GK Martial Arts in Patchup with today's Martial Arts Challenge of the Day. Today we're going to be working on our five and six year old age group. We call them basic skills. And we're going to be working on their coordination skill. By age five, the corpus callosum, which is the part of the brain that lets the left half and the right half work together, is pretty highly developed. They're able to move across their center line, to be able to read across their center line, but also they're able to do techniques that include multiple parts and they're able to follow instructions that are more than two or three steps long. Today, we're going to work on a, a hopscotch challenge where they're going to be using a few different techniques. Now, I'm going to show you two different ways to do this depending on the way that you know, your ninja responds to the initial challenge. So all you'll need, I have some rings set up here. You can use anything from hula hoops to tape if you're doing it inside. Or if you're outside, you could use some sidewalk chalk to make a hopscotch pattern. Let me show you how it's done. We're gonna start off at one end. And every time your child hops into a single ring, they're going to throw two kicks. We want them to keep their hands up. And every time they kick, first, They'll lift their knee. We call this a chamber. Once they get there, they'll do one kick on one side, one kick on the other. So it'll look something like this. Hop in, hands up, kick one, kick two. If they land in a double set of rings, they're going to use a middle stance. Now these rings are a little small for me, but you'll get the idea. What they'll do is spread the feet and bend the knees. I'm going to widen my feet out a little bit here. They'll bend their knees, hands up, and they'll do two punches. One, nice and straight, two. And then they'll continue on that pattern as they go. Now, if they do really well with that and you want to increase the level of difficulty, meaning they'll have to have even better coordination, find yourself a rock or something that won't roll too much. I'm going to use this indoor snowball. Now let me show you two new things that this allows us to do. If I throw my token and it lands in one of the single rings, that means I have to skip that ring without losing balance or technique. So I would jump in, hands up, two kicks, jump wide, hands up, two punches, skip the one that it's in to do two more punches. Now, if it lands in one of the double rings, I would go on to one foot in whichever the other ring is and try to throw three kicks. One, two, oh, now I have to start all the way back at the beginning. See how their coordination goes, and if they're really getting good with it, challenge them to go down, then turn around and come back. If you really want to have a lot of fun with it, of course, you'll have to either play with them or have their siblings play with them. This social interaction is going to be really important for them during these trying times. Let us know how this one goes.